If you are looking for some extreme test drives, head over to Camp Jeep and Ram Camp. And that's where we find Brian Abel. So Brian looks like an adventure over there. Yeah, Ram Truck Territory, pretty incredible experience. And here to talk about it is Jason Russ. Jason, just explain to me, this is great. What went into making this happen? Yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool, huh? I mean, when you look at uh, what the Detroit Auto Show has become here, it's, uh, it's really something that we've been working towards for quite a few years, but we've never right, really had the opportunity to bring something like this indoors. So what you're looking at is about seven different obstacles that our light duty and heavy duty trucks will take customers through with a professional driver. You know, it really showcases the best vehicle attributes from both a vocational and a recreational standpoint. So you'll see the line that's formed behind us. When we get to public days, you know, our experience has been in the past that we'll see people stand after they've been through the experience in awe and just watch for probably longer than they spend in the truck. So it's, it's really a cool thing for us to be able to bring here to Detroit. And we're very, very thankful and proud that we're able to do this. And how, like, when you talk about this, what does this do for the brand? I mean, does, does this translate directly into car sales? It does actually. And thanks to our uh, Ram brand leadership, you know, they, they trust us to come out and engage with the consumers. We'll put roughly 25,000 consumers through this experience over the course of the auto show. You know, and like, like any smart company, we do a lot of pre and post survey. And we found that any customer who comes through and takes a ride with us, their likelihood to recommend or buy a product from us more than doubles. So that alone just tells you, you know, if you can get a customer behind the wheel or in the passenger seat, the interiors themselves will blow away most luxury makes in these trucks. So it really does a lot for us in terms of advocacy. Jason Rush, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, back to you guys. So much technology for new vehicles is tested before a concept car ever gets out there on the road, right? Indeed, Mike Duffy, you got a chance to try out Ford's new dynamic driving simulator. It shows us how it's changing the way cars are developed. Gone are the days when car manufacturers like Ford could only test it if they built it from the ground up. While simulators have been around since the 1970s, the technology has gotten so good that Ford is now able to try out various road conditions and changes to the car's features, all with just a push of a button. Robert Rivoli is Ford's Advanced Driver Assist System Simulation Technical Specialist, and he's showing us around. We're standing in Ford's brand new uh, Dynamic Simulator Lab. He says the technology has come a long way from earlier simulators. This is bigger, um, better, um, so we have more capability here. What you're seeing in front of you is a platform that enables you to give an immersive experience to the driver. And really, that helps you understand and feel the emotions that you would feel driving a real vehicle. The technology has already been used to develop Ford's vehicles of the present. And some great examples of our, our fine product that has come out would be uh, Maverick, uh, Mach-E, as well as the new Ford Lightning. As well as of the future. We're able to look at vehicles and drive vehicles that are still five to seven years out from customers' hands, or maybe even concepts that are 10 or more years out. Of course, I couldn't just take his word for it. I had to get behind the wheel. They're pulling away the stairs, so we're about to get started. I hope you're as excited as I am about this. I started out slow. So right now you're driving a Maverick, our new small pickup truck. So this was developed using this simulator. So this handles just like a Maverick would. I mean, all the feels that I would experience in a Maverick I'm experiencing right now. Correct. The machine let me experience in an instant what it's like going from driving a Ford Maverick to driving the Ford Lightning. Yeah, actually I would say this already feels different, maybe a little smoother. You are perceiving all the things that you should. Okay. I also got to experience those same vehicles when different weather, time of day, and road conditions were applied. Oh yeah, this is a rough road. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes it even got so real watching the cars pass me by that my driver muscle memory just kicked in. I just tried to signal. It's good that you're that immersed. <laughs> All right, hate to end it, but I guess we got it. All good things must come to an end sometimes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Our pleasure.
Wow, so much innovation makes you feel like you're really in the car, right? You know, President Joe Biden stopped by to see the new cars and technology at the Detroit Auto Show. He wasted no time before he hopped into a bright orange Corvette Z06 EV. The president announced the approval of funding for the first 35 states, including Michigan, to build their own electric charging infrastructure throughout their states. Which is so very important. A spectacular week for the Motor City. Joining us right now is the mayor of Detroit, Mike Duggan. Thank you so much for being here with us. It's been a great week, right? Back on the world stage uh, with this show and the attention focused on it. You know, my first month in office, January of 2014, Vice President Joe Biden called to say he was coming to the auto show took me to dinner, it was the first time I met him. Detroit was in bankruptcy, GM and Chrysler were coming out of bankruptcy, and there was a pall over the whole auto show. This year, it's been nothing but celebration. You can feel the mood tonight. Can't you? Everybody's excited to be here, and I know you took a tour of the auto show floor earlier this week. What stood out to you? I mean, because this is a reimagined show, never been outside and indoors. You know, they didn't, you didn't show it on there, but the most frightening of these is the uh, Jeep Mountain. I got in that Grand Cherokee, it goes up 40 degrees. You think you're gonna slide over backwards and then go straight down, hits the brakes. Uh, there are some activities here as exciting as any Cedar Point ride. I think people are gonna enjoy the experience more than they have in the past. Well, and January to September, I mean, sp September's a spectacular month in our city and we've got indoor stuff and the outdoor addition, which makes it really special. Well, there's no question, a huge part of our planning every year was how to have the dump trucks that were gonna haul the snow for the inevitable blizzard we had uh, every year at Auto Show Week. Uh, and now you got people outside that amazing Mustang stampede that celebrated all the downtown. Uh, having a September Auto Show, I think is gonna end up uh, producing record crowds. Well, Mayor Duggan, we know you are a busy man. Thank you for giving us your time to shining brightly, especially here in downtown. And it has a lot to do with you, sir. Glad to have the two of you here. Yes, thank you. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Mike Duggan, the mayor of the city of Detroit. And next, a look at the teams of people it takes to power the auto show floor. That's next.